I am Pete Tidwell, and it is Friday, October 9th at 12.35 a.m. So middle of the night, I am at my studio um, at the shops at Riverwoods in Provo. So today, I was having a conversation with my wife and thinking about some stuff today, and I've been thinking that I really need to start documenting a lot more of my process and really what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and what I'm working on for my business, what I'm doing in life. Um, hopefully this will be of value to somebody. I know it'll be of value for me to look back on and so I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I possibly can to be able to document what I have going on. Um, in future videos, I'll get more into you know what I've been working on, kind of the past of what business ventures I've worked on, um, what jobs I've had, those kind of things, because I think it's really helpful. Um, I was saying to my wife today that if I were to go back to 2013 when I started my business, The Mighty Baker, that the one thing that I would tell myself in 2013 is to start recording these videos and record videos on a weekly basis or every few days when I have something to share to document what I have gone through um, and just my experiences. I've had so many valuable experiences opening a business, closing a business, um, helping others launch some things, um, working in different career jobs, working in New York City. Um, so many different experiences and I hope this can be a value of somebody out there because I feel like there's a lot of people that want to start businesses and if there's something that I can share that can help um, somebody that wants to start their own business um, or help them through a challenge, I hope this um, can help. So right now, as I mentioned, it's 12.35 a.m. in the middle of the night and that's usually when I'm here at my studio. Um, that may seem a little bit funny to people um, but it's interesting. Um, part of my journey has been in and out of corporate jobs, and I ran my other bake shop for three years, and I decided to close that at the end of 2018, and then I went back to get a full-time job working in marketing. And so now, I'm actually back working a full-time job during the day, and then I have three employees that run my shop here, run my studio, and then I usually come in the evenings while my family's asleep and I come here and work on my business. Um, whether that's you know, business paperwork or coming up with you know, future promotions. Um, like for instance, tonight, um, I, here you can look over and see what I have done over here. So tonight, I baked all these cookies that are going out for orders tomorrow. So there's a good, you know, 300 cookies on there. So I'm also here this evening getting those cookies ready. Um, also working on some future promotions as well. You'll see a bunch of boxes behind me. Um, those are boxes for orders tomorrow. So another thing I'm doing is I'm putting together some um, promos, um, putting together some kits that I want to sell for holiday time around Christmas. Um, and so I'm thinking out some of those logistics, um, how I'm going to ship products, um, looking at shipper boxes, um, looking at the different components, my different kits that I'm putting together, um, and then trying to put together some pricing type models for those. Um, I'm really excited for this. I'm super stoked because I feel like there's a lot of stress involved with owning your own business. And I feel like this in itself, just being able to communicate um, on camera and to be able to um, really share what I'm experiencing is going to be pretty fun. So I guess to give you a quick synopsis, um, so going far, far back, um, I worked for my brother at Gandolfo's for 14 years, got me into the restaurant type business, working with food. Learned a lot about working in the food industry um, from my brother. Um, from there, went to BYU, communications degree with an emphasis in advertising. And then that led me to New York City, working in New York City for L'Oreal, doing marketing, 
um, and then Microsoft moved back here to Utah, started a bakery business, the Mighty Baker in 2013. And as I mentioned, I ran it from home a little bit um, for a couple of years. Um, and in future times sitting down, I'm gonna kind of go over some of those times and what I, what I built, um, what challenges I came across, what hardships I came across and what mistakes I made um, as I opened up a business. Um, and the things that I've learned along this path. Um, I opened up a business, like a storefront bake shop, had it for three years, and then decided to close it down, um, and then went back and got a full-time job, and now I've revamped my business plan, and I relaunched my business at the beginning of this year, which, that's a whole story in of, in of itself, because this year, um, with the whole coronavirus, COVID-19 um, pandemic, things going on um, has thrown a huge wrench in my business, um, especially a new business concept. And hence why, I, why I'm also here late at night is I'm trying to come up with creative ideas to stimulate my business um, and bring in um, needed revenue to um, help me be able to meet my expenses. Um, so every Friday we're offering different desserts as kind of throwbacks to what I would do at my bake shop. Um, and it's helping, um, it's helping a lot. Um, and, uh, Riverwoods here in Provo has been very gracious, um, and has been wonderful, um, landlords through this whole process. So grateful, um, for them, um, that they've been able to, um, help give me a good experience here, um, and be understanding that. In my first year of business, plus coronavirus, um, and just how the markets, you know, reacted to that, um, business has been hard. It's been rough, um, but that's that's kind of what I want to talk about. Um, overall, I want these video series to be things that um, learnings that I've had. Um, as I mentioned, please um, comment on things you would like me to cover um, or questions you have about opening a business um, because I would love, 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 love to be able to give feedback um, and to be able to answer some of those questions. Um, I would love to be involved with helping people um, work through business problems um, and those kind of things because they're really got a lot of experience there. And I'm still learning. Um, I'm not a master at any of these things um, by any means, um, but by working um, for my brother for 14 years um, and then doing my own business since 2013 and working a, little, a lot of marketing and advertising companies, I've got a lot of experience that um, can help. So I hope that this can not only be a um, vlog style um, videos that I'm going to be doing, but also that they can become um, kind of a journal for myself to document my learnings um, as well as be able to share value to those of you out there that are listening um, that subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm very new at this. Um, I say my channel as if like it's been around for a long time or something. Um, I received a fun notification on my email just today um, that was like a review of my month of YouTube. And it was so funny because, um, you know, the stats looked fine. I mean, you know, 55 followers gained, um, 13,000 views and, you know, a few likes here and there, um, which that was all gained in a month. And that's not very many, um, at all <laughs> compared to a lot of channels out there. Um, but I felt really good about that because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, a lot of you know, business help things and, and so many different influence type um, podcast voices out there um, that a lot of people are like, you know, you just need to start doing something. Um, so many times we get crippled by overthinking what we're doing, um, whether that's business or social media or whatever it may be, we get crippled because we overthink things. And I am number one worst offender of that. Um, I do that all the time. And, but by, I saw a video the other day just saying, hey, 
YouTube Shorts is coming out soon, which is similar to TikTok. Um, I have a TikTok account that's been great success, um, and it's been a super fun journey there. Um, but the YouTube, we're launching YouTube Shorts, and to put videos on that are less than a minute, and tag YouTube Shorts in there. And I did that, and quite, quite a few got views. Um, and it was so fun. It was such a fun opportunity to, to be able to do that. Um, anyway, I hope that this video um, will be of value to somebody out there. Um, but really, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, this is for my future self, for a record um, and just to show what I have done and what I've learned so that I can remember. Um, I wish I had videos like these from two years back or three years back when I was going through some tough times of my business, um, going through depression and going through with a lot of anxiety and health problems, um, financial issues, um, all sorts of things that I wish I could go back and listen and be able to learn from those things. So this is gonna be a good opportunity for me to be able to share those. Um, and I think that's gonna be it. So we're, you know, let's see, 12.50, in the morning, um, a.m., middle of the night, it's dark outside. Um, I'm gonna finish up here, um, wrap up a bunch of cookies, um, get everything all staged ready to go for tomorrow morning so my employees can come in and um, get everything done for orders tomorrow. So, all right, you guys are awesome. Uh, any of you out there watching this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, also find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, would love to hear your feedback um, and would love to answer any questions that you have um, for me. So, and we'll see you later. Thanks so much. Pete with the Mighty Baker. We'll see you later.